scientists from the Australian Institute of Sport have pioneered a new form of immersive technology that allows cyclists to experience every aspect of the Olympic course without ever having been there. What Project Deja Vu is all about is to try to capture as much information as possible during test events so you can come back to Australia and essentially recreate the specific demands of competition. Cyclists train on a bicycle mounted in front of a large screen which runs footage of the actual course. The bicycle is computer programmed to provide the same amount of friction as the cyclists would experience on the course cycling up a hill. You can definitely feel coming down a hill because the resistance backs off. So, and then that's when your gears come into play, so you'll ramp them up so you can then get your speed going. You get to ride the course, you get to see where you're going, see where the corners are, see where the descents are, so you can really get a, a good idea of the course and what's involved and as opposed to just sitting and, and riding and not being able to visually see where you are at what point. Athletes work with coaches, dietitians and experts in skill acquisition to optimise their performance on the course. What happens is we take the information we collect when we're over in London, we've come back and on the, the bicycle behind me and then the TV screen in front of me, um, the cyclist can actually experience a virtual reality. Um, this allows the cyclist to practice their sports nutrition, when would I drink, how much would I drink. It also allows them to practice their pacing strategies, when should I hold myself back a little when can I open it up and give as much as I possibly can and the idea by going um, through this creation of these simulated environments is that when the athletes get over to London um, they're not giving a tentative effort they're giving a maximal effort and they feel very very confident that they've left no stone unturned a cliche but but a, a good one um, and that they're actually able to to give what they feel is their very best effort Project Deja Vu is just one avenue the AIS is exploring in its quest to help cyclists perform better. Um, Australian sports science has been, has been very innovative over the years, but it's fair to say that there are a number of countries that are copying the Australian Institute of, of Sport model. Every year we have groups from China, Japan, New Zealand, America, Canada, France, Germany, Great Britain, they come and they look at this model. How has Australia become so successful in such a short period of time? And obviously, a lot of countries want to emulate what's going on here at the Australian Institute of Sport.